Take a seat. This is the latest reconnaissance from the Siegfried line. Now that Montgomery's attempt at a shortcut has failed, we're going to have to get through Germany the hard way. This is the Moselle River near Metz. And this is Fort Schmerzen, which is proving to be one tough nut to crack. Thick concrete walls, artillery, machine gun emplacements, dragon's teeth. It's a briar patch of German defenses. Now what you see in the recon is only the tip of the iceberg. These forts go incredibly deep, sometimes four or five levels down into the earth. They're completely self-sustaining. They have their own command and control centers, radio rooms, supply bays, dormitories, and kitchens. Jerry can stay down there for weeks, even months at a time. And of all these fortifications, Schmerzen is the biggest of the lot. While we've been able to knock out some of the smaller forts, Schmerzen has remained impenetrable. They keep pouring resources of men and equipment into it, even though it doesn't make much tactical sense now that we can effectively flank the position. Unless, that is, something sinister is going on down there that we don't know about. And that is what is scaring us. I'll be honest with you, son. You're not the first agent we've tried to send in there. But it's imperative that we find out what the Germans are up to, so that's why I've personally assigned you this mission. The Nazis are hiding something deep inside Fort Schmerzen, and my gut tells me it's something bad. The Siegfried Forest, 25th of November 1944. Simpa de Terevoir, Mon Pote. It's good to see you again, my friend. It's been a few months since we last spoke I've been away on some missions of my own. But now it's time to get, as you Americans say, down to business. Fort Schmerzen is going to be one very tough assignment. I should know I once worked there. First things first. Schmerzen is bordered on all sides by a thick forest filled with wild animals and booby traps. The soldiers who work there never wander far from the main roads you'd best do the same. All of Schmerzen's entry points are fortified against a major frontal assault, so the razor wire and multiple gun emplacements are more than a match for even you, mon ami. Fortunately, some of the bunkers have secret hatches that lead directly into the fort. An old friend of mine will leave a crowbar for you outside one of the gates use it to pry a hatch open. Finally, something odd showed up in the recon photo, what appeared to be a Stuka dive bomber was parked out in the middle of the forest. It was probably just a smudge on the lens, but check it out anyway. Come in here!
Officers' Quarters, 25th of November 1944. I spent two months undercover as a domestic servant to the fort's commander, one Colonel Herman Muller. He is a pig of a man, a gluttonous creature foul in both appearance and temperament. He runs Schmerzen as his personal kingdom. He's considered rogue by the German high command, and he often goes weeks without reporting in. Our source say that Berlin doesn't have a clue to what he's doing. I learned enough in my time there to know that he's capable of some very bad things. During my two months undercover, the bowels of the fort underwent a major reconstruction. Based on his connections, Muller was able to divert resources from the German war effort into some sort of secret project of his. 
I was never able to find out what it was, now it's your job. First, to divert any reinforcements from coming in, find the radio room and send a phony distress call pretending to be a different fort along the Siegfried line. Then track down Muller's staff orders in the operations room. Finally, search his personal quarters for keys to the lower level. I have a feeling that he will run as soon as he hears shots being fired inside the fort, so he'll probably hide the keys under wherever he happens to be sitting at the time.
Punk in Americana!
Mustard Gas Production. 25th of November 1944. Unbelievable. Our worst fears have been realized. Muller has converted Schmerzen into a clandestine poison gas plant. You must have been shocked when you read his staff orders and realized what is going on. A seemingly new, more lethal form of mustard gas is being cooked up as a last-ditch effort to stop the Allied armies from crossing the German border. The colonel was always notorious for advocating a return to the mustard gas terror of the last world war, a position that made even his closest confidants think he was a little crazy. I knew from personal experience that he was an evil, sick man, I just never realized how far he would go. That's what the Stuka bomber was there for, he planned to drop the gas right on top of our troops. Your objective is to use their own horrible weapon against them. Make your way down to the lower production level and open up both of the main storage valves. This will spill ethylene and sulfur chloride into the fort's ventilation system. Once the two compounds mix together, Fort Schmerzen will become a tomb.
Along with tanks and artillery, a key ingredient of the 1939 Blitzkrieg was the Stuka dive bomber. Its powerful cannons could rip through any piece of armor, and the Stuka's telltale whistle as it dove towards its target became as powerful a psychological weapon as any of its explosive bombs. Goering and Hitler's success with the Stuka, however, would be short-lived. The Allied Air Forces would soon gain superiority of the skies.